pay money and then they will provide you a key for your, to unlock your files. Welcome Jesper to this episode of Architecture Corner. We will talk about ransomware. It's something that is more and more common. Could you tell us about it a little bit? Ransomware is a, I wouldn't say a brand new way of making money, but uh, it's having, having been a rise in the last years. Ransomware actually started out about 2006 in Russia. And ransomware is mainly Someone access your computer and encrypts all your files and then demands money for you to get access to them again. And that's the business model. And it's quite a quite interesting model from a, hack, model from a hacking perspective because it creates an interaction between you and the hacker. You need to contact them, pay money, and then they will provide you a key for your, to unlock your files. Can you give some examples of this? Oh, there are so many examples, because that's one of the main attack ways currently. Uh, one of the more famous examples is, of course, Sony Pictures that were hit quite hard by the ransomware. However, they never made a payout. They made a restore instead. Normally, the common client for this is a private person, that's home users, that get hit and they have to pay about three to 500 euros or something to be able to access their files. It's mainly about vacation photos, CVs and everything. However, there are quite a few companies that have actually been hit by ransomware as well. One of my clients, can't, can't uh, tell them the name, they had to restore a half terabyte of information because one of their file servers uh, was hit by a ransomware. We have some examples a few weeks ago from US when hospitals got hit by ransomware and they paid out to continue their business. Mm. If you haven't got all the security mechanisms needed to be able to restore your information one way or another, uh, you will ha sadly, you will need to pay to get access to information. The problem with paying is that you become a returning customer. You become a customer, they know that you will pay out. So the next time you will be hit, and you will be hit, they will ask for a lot more money. We have quite seen quite a few examples where companies have paid out and the next time they're hit, most probably within a month or so, they have to pay out about 10 times more. So paying is not the solution. What is the solution then? The solution is on the, in the first place to make sure you have really good backups and, and you are able to restore quite quickly. However, that's only a remedy if you are hit by ransomware. In the first place, you need to make sure that you are not hit by it. So you need to train your users how to identify ransomware and to make sure that they don't click on links, they don't click on files that are attached to mails and everything. Sometimes ransomware also go, get, access you through websites. So you can't completely make sure that you are, uh, can be hit. But then comes the next part. If you are hit, you make sure that this ransomware doesn't propagate through your network. So there was an example uh, just uh, a week ago where you downloaded a file, a program from the vendor site. It didn't start encrypting your hard disk uh, until after three days. Well, when the first ransomware arrived, they started encrypting your computer as fast as they could. Nowadays, you have tools start monitoring what's happening on your hard drive. It's a normal antivirus tool actually does this and blocks those type of processes. So ransomware today is, works a lot slower and it wants to make sure that it actually stays in your backups as well. So you're infected, then it takes a few days so your backups are run and then they start. So you roll back a backup and the ransomware is still there. So you probably will lose three or four days of data or even more just to, just to make sure that you're protected against the, the ransomware. I would, first of all, strongly suggest that you have protected your mails from ransomware by making sure that files are not allowed or files are checked before they arrive in the mailbox. So, and same thing with the links. This is, this is all about money. The business model for, the, for those hackers that are running with the ransomware is that 
they need to be able to restore your information if you pay out. And the payout rate today is about 3 or 4%. Meaning that if they will provide a service of encrypting your data and not being able to restore it, that business model would die. So if you really, really, really are into deep trouble, yes, do make a payout. But for whatever you do, invest in really good security directly afterwards because you will be hit again. So can you compare this to the kidnapping that are in some areas of the world? Yes, absolutely. It's, it's actually the same thing. The interesting part is that before Bitcoin and other type of cryptographic uh, currencies, this wasn't possible because you still have all paying through money or paying with PayPal or whatever. So the cryptographic currencies are one of the main things that make ransomware work. So the old envelope with used bills, that is not used anymore? No, not at all. It's all about bitcoins.